Fanya Jew Terraces have provided the framework to Kenya's very successful soil and water conservation program. During colonial times, terracing was enforced and developed a bad name. But in the 1970s, the independent government, supported by donors, made new attempts to halt erosion. Key to the conservation program was the Fanya Jew Terrace, which was well suited to sloping land in small scale farms. Soil is dug from trenches along the contours of the slope and thrown upwards to form banks some 40 to 50 centimeters in height. Construction and maintenance is carried out using hand tools. Fanya Jew terraces are made every 10 to 20 meters apart, depending on the steepness of the field. As time passes, the soil between the banks evens out through surface erosion and tillage. Level benches can be the result. Grass is often planted on the terraces to stabilize the banks. In higher rainfall conditions, napier grass is favored because it provides fodder for stall-fed livestock. Bananas thrive in the moist conditions below the banks. Regular upkeep is necessary, throwing soil upwards to maintain the height of the banks. In this part of eastern Kenya, women's mwethia groups have traditionally worked together on terracing. The benefits were already evident 20 years ago. The contrast between maize in this unterraced plot and, close by, Mkethe Mbithi's healthy plants is clear to see. The difference can be simply a good yield in place of crop failure. In an average year, production increases are around 50%. Mkethe explains. Before making the terraces, we didn't have a good harvest because the soil was eroded. When we put fertilizers on, the rain washed it into the river and the maize grew short. But when we made terraces, the erosion stopped and we now get good crops. What have we learned over the years? Most importantly, Fanya Ju terraces have continued to prove popular and effective. In eastern Kenya, these terraces now cover three quarters of the cultivated sloping land. From the air, the extent of the conservation effort is clear. And they're spreading from Kenya into neighboring countries. Increasingly, farmers are planting trees in combination with the terraces. Mangoes, pawpaws, and the multi-purpose Gravilla robusta. It's an all-round conservation and production system. Over the decades, Fania Jew terraces have proved their worth and their versatility. They're an insurance against climate change. 2009 was a drought year in eastern Kenya but terraced farms still produced crops. Munira Muleve, who was a friend and workmate of Mkethe's, still depends on her terraces to this day. Despite the failure of the rains, Munira and her family didn't go hungry, thanks to her soil and water conservation efforts. I planted this year. The production was only three bags of maize. But at least, I have enough to last until the next harvest. We haven't received any food aid, and we don't need any, because of the grain in the store. Fania Jew terraces form the backbone of smallholder farming systems in the East African Highlands. Through conserving moisture and reducing erosion, they stabilize and improve production. This is a proven adaptation technology that most of all makes good sense to farmers.